All right, welcome back. This is a special episode, breaking news episode. There is a list going around where all the New York City journalists and media types are disclosing their salaries on a Google Doc. In fact, this is so breaking news that I don't think many of my colleagues even are aware of this news yet. But I have access to the Google Doc. That's right, me bringing you information that other people never get to learn about. And there are some interesting data points that we can learn from this Google Doc about everybody basically in New York City and other places around the United States, what their salaries are in media. So let's find out how much all these reporters that you despise make in a year. <laughs> and those media companies you love to hate. First off, I'll attach the link down below in the description if you're curious, but one thing right off the bat that's an easy, easy thing to determine is that writers do not get paid very much. They're definitely the lowest rung. If you're just kind of a staff writer or a junior writer, you're usually making around $35,000, $40,000 a year. Not very much. You're making basically a Midwest teacher's salary <laughs> in New York City as a writer at a, at a big magazine. We've got BH Media, Fast Company, Editorial Assistant, Fast Company is making $35,000, Reporter at Lee Enterprise making $33,000, Spectrum News, Multimedia Journalist, $40,000. What about a reporter at BuzzFeed News making $42,000 a year? So social media producer, Toronto Star, $42,000 a year. Business reporter at the Houston Chronicle, $42,000 a year. What about Business Insider, $45,000 a year. And they are an editor. An editor at Business Insider is making $45,000 a year in New York City. That's, what do you think about that? Well, what about what about higher salaries? What about in the 50s or $60,000? Well, we got Slate is paying an editorial assistant $57,000 a year. We got an associate staff writer for the New York Times making $56,000 a year. We got a staff writer for Vice making $52,000 a year. These are all in New York City where rent is super expensive. Let's just be real. $50,000, yeah, it's a, it's a great salary. Is it that fantastic big salary that a lot of people think people at Vice or the New York Times are making? No, definitely not. What about, what are some outliers? Well, there's one that's an editor at Vox that's making $400,000 a year. I can pretty much speculate who this is. I'm not gonna say any names. There's no names on this. I think that's good. Keep it honest, keep it wholesome. Just for people to understand what their market rate is. What are other people around them getting paid? How long they've been working relative to other people that are making the same amount of money? What companies pay more money? It's a very fascinating list. What about, let's see. Quartz, what a, a reporter at Quartz is making $79,000 a year. Gizmodo Media, somebody at Gizmodo Media is claiming they made $80,000 a year. A senior editor, right, well, they're obviously still not a dead spin at least. <laughs> they're making $0 over a dead spin. What are some other people making? We got, let's go up, let's go up in the range here. Let's, in the six figure range, we have a multimedia content creator, union at Consumer Reports, making $102,000 a year. We got a senior correspondent, once again, Vox, making $113,000 a year. They've been working for seven years. They work in DC. We have a deputy editor in the New York Times making $145,000 a year. So far, the biggest I've seen is the editor at Vox. The, there's a CNN editor making $110,000 a year plus bonus. Bustle, Bustle Media, just laid off a bunch of people. Bustle Media, staff writer, $18 an hour. <laughs> Uh, what are some other ones? WNYC, so PBS, $56,000 a year. How about CBC News? Senior reporter at CBC News in Toronto is making 64,000 US dollars. Sorry, I should be looking at the camera more, but I don't have this list memorized. I'm reading it off as we speak. Like, like I said, link down in the description. Some fascinating stuff. You can see that in general, Vox, New York Times, Wall Street Journal are paying more money on average than some of the other digital media companies and definitely editors and video people, multimedia people are making more money than writers and reporters. Print, you're making less money. Video, multimedia, you're making slightly more money. That seems to be how it's skewing. But also one more interesting thing about this list is that it also annotates if it's a female, if it's male, if it's cisgender, transgender, black, female, Latino, what, what your race, nationality, creed is, and you can compare that with your other coworkers. So for those of you that are not in media, you probably will find this just as fascinating as those that are in media. Because I think there is often perhaps an assumption or an idealism that the media is well paid. 
And it's really not. <laughs> this list bears it out. So hopefully you guys find this fascinating. This is just a quick video, not much of a story on this one. Either way, leave a like, leave a comment if you found this video interesting or insightful, or find this list interesting or insightful, or didn't even know that this list existed and therefore thankful that this video is here in front of you so you can see how much all those reporters make a year. Like I said, it's down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow.